All right, welcome back to my channel. This is where I review uh, various products uh, that uh, everyday products that you know people like myself who like you know certain tech and just uh, little things like that. Whatever, maybe it makes you money. Maybe some things in health and fitness. Uh, we just you know open up the box, see what's in there, kind of sample it a little bit, and uh, give our our uh, our opinions on the on the products. So here is. One that I've been meaning to buy for, gosh, for over a year. Although things have changed. This, this thing seems to change like <laughs> every year there's a different model, it seems. Anyway, it seems that way. Uh, this is the Ring Video Doorbell 3. Okay, 3. So there have been other versions, like 1 and 2 and 2 point, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the reason why I went with the Video Doorbell 3 is because this, unlike its predecessors, this uh, lets you actually mount the, the camera doorbell, not just by using the existing wires of your doorbell that's already installed at your front door, but also wirelessly, because it has a battery that you can charge and replace. Uh, and don't worry, it lasts months, so it's not like something you have to like you know replace every single day. Um, but it also depends on your, on your usage. You know, if you're in a high high area that, and you set your camera up to pick up, you know, recording on motion like constantly, then yeah, you're probably going to burn through the battery even even quicker than that. But uh, so I wanted the ability to not only just put put the camera with the existing wires from, it, from a, the doorbell that I already have, but I also wanted to be able to put it somewhere else wirelessly in case. I didn't have wires coming out of the wall, you know, because I do live in the uh, townhome community, brand new townhome, probably about four years old. And uh, the doorbell, I noticed, is a bit low. You know, it's like, you know, mid-level, like, belt area. I don't think the camera is going to pick up the face if someone was standing right in front of the door. I don't think the camera would would see the person's face. I think it would probably be up to, like, their chest area. So that's that's not good enough. So I might have to, you know, use the wireless, you know, battery pack to put it above maybe an extra foot or so above the doorbell uh, that I already have installed on my house. Um, and I rent, so I don't want to, you know, start remodeling and rewiring everything because then you know, I rent. It's it's not it's not something you should do. Just go remodeling someplace you don't even own. So I went Ring Doorbell Three. Okay, for the wireless ability, but also if you can see here, you know, you can see what's in the box, specs, and also right here, uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, you know, through your Wi Fi. Okay, other versions were only 2.4, this is either or 2.4 and a 5. So I also wanted the ability to, to connect to a 5, which would be even better quality. So let's go over the box. You see it has 1080p video and two-way talk, advanced motion sensing, uh, dual band, rechargeable battery pack. Like I said, that's something that's been missing from other previous versions. You always had to wire it into the existing wires that are on your doorbell. And, and because some doorbells and their location, you're limited to where you could put it. So I didn't want to have any limitations. I want to be able to put this wherever I want to put it. So that's why I went with the three. Let's see what's on the side of the box. We have <clears throat> some things just talking about some of the features. What's right here? It does work with Alexa and bring product enabled. And you have apps on the for the App Store and for Google Play. Okay, so let's open this sucker up. And this slides right out. All right, this is the box. Nice presentation. Always home, real thin. Is it a slide out or something? 
Oh, that's like a card. Oh, what is that, a sticker? Yeah, it looks like you have a little sticker. Which is a good deterrent you could put on your window, you know, sliding glass doors or a front window and your and your door depends on, you know, if you have windows or not. But so that's nice, you know, just to kind of give people the heads up to not even think about it. You put that there. Set up steps. Download the Ring app. Of course, you know, looks like scan the code. All right. One page, single page, not too bad. Uh, video doorbell three. All right, so it says one of the first things to do is to charge the battery. Okay. And it shows the battery just gets inserted from the bottom of the device. It looks like it lets you... Write down your Wi-Fi password so you don't forget it. Uh, and you just try it out. Install your video doorbell. Okay. Yeah, so this, this is an example of, of uh, you know, knowing where, the, you know, the height where you need to be. Uh, the camera is already going to, you know, be kind of a wide angle as it is. But uh, if somebody's really like up close, right up on top of it, you're not going to get the full effect as if you know they were, you know, further, be, you know, further away from the camera. Installation looks like that's an, just like an existing doorbell on somebody's house. It's just saying take those apart and hook it up. And this is probably where you would take the, the, the couple wires coming out from your existing doorbell to connect it to the device. Of course, I won't be doing that. I'll just be installing it without. And again, you can just stop, pause the video at any time to uh, read any of that that you wanted to read. Review, share, and download. <laughs> what, what is it? Well, kind of too late. You already bought it. Too late. Important product information. For consumers in the US. Okay. Let's start with this little black box right here. Oh, it's not a box actually. It is what they call a wedge. Okay. This is if you need to put it on a wall and you need to give it just a little bit of angle. Just a little bit of angle. You can use this wedge. So the device would be angled upward a little bit using this angle because it's, as you can see, or you flip it over this side and angle it down if you want. All right, so we got that wedge, and then another wedge. This is a side wedge. So this would be up against the wall and of course, if you needed to face the other way, you know, sideways, you do that. I suppose you can even probably, I don't know, could you do two of them? Two of them to, yes, you can. Look at that. It actually, yeah, it does. So if you need to be up and looking to the side, you can, you probably, I don't have to give you big enough screws, but I suppose you can always go to the store and buy some. But it looks like you can do it that way too. So that's good to know. It's good that they put these in there. Um, I had seen some reviews where if you tighten these too much, it, they just need to be snug. If you uh, if you overdo it, uh, being plastic, they might crack. So uh, I've seen a video where someone did that. 
and cracked it because they were using a, a power drill or power, you know, thing. And it just put it in there and it snapped, it cracked. So I would just, you know, just enough to make it nice and snug, but not overdo it with, uh, with the drilling. And here we have a bag of screws and some anchors. Okay. Another, sh another sheet. I just talks about the angles, the wedge mounts. It's just one tiny little sheet. This is, come on, focus. USB. This is one ugly color. Uh, let's see, install tools. I'll just go from the top. I, I don't even know why. Why is that even there? Why? Why is that there? It's so deceiving. You would think you'd have to pull that, but no. You just go from the sides. Okay, literally, it's an install tool. It even says ring on there. It's a little handle. Uh, I think this, yeah, I think I heard about this. Yeah, there's a A different bit. My camera's trying to focus on everything except for what's in front of it. There we go. There's a key. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. That's a different type of, as you can see right there. That's for a security screw to put on a device so somebody can't take out the battery or take off the device. Of course, if they really want to rip it off, I mean, anyone could, you know, with enough force to be able to rip it off. I mean, that's, that's not a question. I mean, like, that's, you know, what can you do about that? Uh, you most likely will see them doing it, so that's a good thing. Uh, so you got uh, this little, little tool. Oh, okay, oh, that's cool. You have A drill bit. So I suppose if you're drilling into some concrete or some some wood or siding or something, I suppose you could use that drill bit. And here's some extenders, wire extenders. So if you were using existing wires from your doorbell and you don't have enough slack to pull out to hook it up to the to the camera, you could use these wires. And you know you would twist it obviously onto the existing wires, so, so you get the wires a little long enough so you can connect it to the device. Looks like it has a little level, so you can see that it's straight, horizontal or vertical. Some wire caps, some more screws and anchors. Okay, that's nice. That is nice. Anything else in here? No, nope. looks empty. Oh wait, it doesn't feel empty. Oh, we have a we have a faceplate. Very cool. All right. So with that, we might as well pull this out. So it looks like we could change the cut. Well, you would take this one off, but we could put this faceplate on. I'm probably going to use the the silver because I think it just works well with this you know the the exterior color of my my home uh i mean i do i do like an all black type of look but uh just to just to match the house i'm probably going to go with the silver all right so here is the actual device what's this it says we have the two screws if you were using the existing doorbell, your, the wires would connect here, connect to low voltage. And you have a little film that covers the camera. I'm probably gonna wait to take that off till after I program it. I'll wait till I actually probably screw it on to the wall outside. So let's look at this. 
Oh wow. <laughs> it's no longer that it's like a it's like a it's like a magic trick. You just keep pulling out the handkerchief. Alright. Security screws. Uh, which is probably where that goes, where you need that that other bit for that security screw. So here's the faceplate that we're going to use. We'll put that off to the side. And that is where the battery goes. Speaking of battery, I am guessing the battery is probably what's right down here. That's just a cardboard divider, nothing special. Uh, here is the battery. Another cardboard divider. Okay. So the battery would go right in there. Now it's not fully charged or anything. Um, it might have a charge on there right now. I, I have no idea. But I'm going to charge it because I'm going to listen to the booklet. I'm going to charge it like it says. Okay, there it is. There is the <coughs> charging port. I keep pressing on that. but And then that wire right here goes right in there. And you plug it into an adapter or to the wall, whatever you have to, to, to charge it. I don't know what it's going to, how long it's going to take to charge a battery, but I do, from what I understand, it will last a, a quite a long time uh, before you have to switch it out. So go ahead and charge them up when you, if you, if you decide to get the ring, like I did, and uh, I don't have uh, an opportunity to really go into too much detail with installing it on the wall because. And using the app because the phone that I have is recording this video. I don't have an additional camera to record what it looks like on my phone because I'm using my phone for this video. So that kind of sucks. Um, but, uh, you know, I do reviews on, on many, many things and along with um, unboxing. And if this channel grows, uh, who knows, I might be able to afford some equipment and things like that to to make more content and to grow the channel so uh, if, if you want to help out a new channel like myself with you know subscribers go ahead and subscribe to the video uh, that way you, you get any new content any uh, new uploaded videos and if you like the video like the video um, but I know I will review this uh, soon uh, once I get it installed and if I have to borrow another phone from a friend, I will do so, so I can show you exactly what it looks like on the app and see the the video quality and all that. So be sure to like the video if you like it, subscribe, help out uh, my my channel. You know my channel is only a couple years old, so I definitely would appreciate it. All right, thank you. Bye.